Hello and welcome back to Bullhammer Gaming. Today we are playing Outer Worlds Part 3. In the last video, we talked to the people of the Edgewater. We explored the Edgewater. We found some info there and some lore there. Then we got to the Reed's office and talked to him about the power regulator. We discovered that there is a power regulator in the Edgewater and there is a power regulator in the place called Botanical Lab. Reed wants us to go to Botanical Lab and take their power regulator and convince these so-called deserters to come back to the Edgewater. We are not now going to talk to the people of Botanical Lab and determine that we are going to take power regulator from Botanical Lab or from the Edgewater. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Requires Reed's key to unlock. Got my sights on. Not much of lore here. Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. This is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Where would I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Last time we came from there, so this time we're gonna be this side.
sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Something you need? Perception. I noticed you mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. Yeah, we read that, we read that on terminal. She left her for she left her to her father. Well, we know she's not dead. I mean. By reading the terminal, I mean. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Perception. You got along well with your dad. You might not have with your mother. Could be. Reckon I'll never know. We'll talk later. chest. Save that for now. Got my sights on you. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Huh? Work fortifies the spirit. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits.
Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Work fortifies the spirit. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? How did you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Ah. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Quite inappropriate for Vicar, isn't it? Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Isn't it your job to raise that? Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Hold on a minute. Did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Um, I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. What does OSI stand for? The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. OSI? Scientism? Not very religious sounding. You sure you didn't just make all this up? Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be true. How do you talk to this grand architect? Prayer? Meditation? Or what? <laughs> you don't talk to the grand architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Doesn't sound like a very motivational religion philosophy. 
What's there to aspire to? We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. <laughs> Why not? Really? How does that work? Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of these secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Hmm. Parvati has low self-esteem, apparently. Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Oh no, it's locked. I don't even have one intelligence, what? Ah, oh, one level. Which means the, the trait that unlocks after 20 levels apparently. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. <laughs> That's insulting. How are we gonna say this? And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Everybody has a small tax, apparently. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. I'll need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to this. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, 
It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Yeah, huh? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but... Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. It just comes off cold to me, is all. Let's get back to it. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I haven't found your book yet. Please get it. You seem pretty concerned about the book. Care to tell me why? A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector. Of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. Is it just a collector or there's something more to this? I just thought of something else I need to be doing. That goes outside. Let's explore here. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall asleep. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Welcome. What? Where are we headed? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? Yes. There seemed to be a story there. There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. Did you steal from it or something? Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of Zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. You picked the lock on the vending machine? Well, sure. They're not tough. Even back then, before I got real good at that sort of thing. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero G? Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Moreau's still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Let's get back to it. I hate you, vending machine. <laughs> and she's in.
Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. The vending machine thing? That was ages ago. I realize that. Company still has not sent us the necessary parts to conduct repairs. And so no thanks to Miss Holcomb, yonder vending machine remains inoperable. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Before we trade, I got some questions for you. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra too. Telling yourself that won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. Lucky to be alive. I don't slave. get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Thanks. Anyone else? Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is, they're gonna replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's... what's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Ah, for the love of... We should have convinced her to go. So, about this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Is that a reason you feel like you ought to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. That doesn't make any sense. Spend enough time in the Spacer's Choice family, and you will come to understand. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Mm. You get a treat if you be a good boy. That's what that means. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Yeah, you might say something bad, and you might get replaced. Let me see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill, and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Wow, legendary. Maxwell. The price is 250, we only got 95. What? No, the price is 3890. The sell value is 250. That's a big margin. I don't need this. Toss wall blocker.
junk. Day at the cannery. And that's Don't go knocking your up. work. At least we've got work. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. A view. Companion quest. He can be our companion, the vicar. Ah, this is the closest one. intelligence
what the hell? Nothing raises our intelligence. I think we are gonna spend points in dialogue because the apparently the good choice here is talking them all together apparently. You have unlocked the dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. We don't have any perks, so let's go. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. What are you babbling about? The war! The coming apocalypse! Man versus machine! I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Ah, he's delusional. Or is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I ask for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? If your resistance needs another gun, I'm for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Weapons would have been better. Persuade. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. What do you need done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. If I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use I could use couple pointers. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um the blue glowy square thing. Ah, blue glowy square things, got you. Got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Of course. Got a question for you. Go on. What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Can't say I have. Pray to the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Silas sent me. You owe him your graveside fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. 
Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Eh, we are not gonna do that. That's not a nice move. I'll let you be. This Saturday, only at the Antibiotics Sports Arena. The Rangers, Rizzo's Rangers versus Auntie Cleo's Darlings. This makes it a plasma weapon. Uh, well, why not? I like people looking at my face. Vendor, vendor, close to vendor. You're some sort of freelancer? Terminal. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Uh, nothing much there. That's a good textures at the distance. What what's that red there? Is it below? there
<laughs> That's coming from that volcano. log but mating habits Kane van Acker spaces choice anthologist assigned to Terra 2 this week I've decided to study for mating habits the female for leave their nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects typically something shiny and bright shiny or bright then they build this then they build displays with these objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site and don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistants. And the assistant died. Ah, oh, he ain't no threat. But I could fix him up smart. Searching for repair bay? Error? Navigation systems failed, unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Hang on a second, I'm not sure. Take your time. You need help, just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. This is a junkyard, not a repair bay. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice. Designated mechanical repair bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's Choice mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor. I'm my supervisor. All right, go ahead and fix him up, Parvati. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just got to give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Whoa, hey. Don't you owe me something for the repairs? Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. So they gave you a message instead of some form of trading mechanism. Cheap. I'll be going now. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Let's find our own reward. There we go.
Looks like there's a free bed outside of Edgewater. Kill all these combat drones. I highly doubt he did it. Bring us honor, soldier. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. I'll let you know if I find it. On the double, soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. I'll let you be. Uh, let's just go through the cantina. You're not a big drinker, are you? There we go. What the hell? Well, since we are here. Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... 
when I can't leave the house. I'm sorry, Parody. Oh, well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Hey, how about those fees you wanted? You run into any trouble? I'm all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, let's squeeze him out a bit more. Persuade. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. I was hoping for something more uh, tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yeah. No, not right now. Got a question for you. Yeah? Have you heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? I don't understand. Are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Boy don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? We need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? You first. I know you buried him. Well, yeah. It's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? His gold teeth. Could be worth something if you pull them out. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. See you around. positive
Bring us honor, soldier. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. How do I use this injury customizing unit exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Ah, it's a mod. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Don't worry about that. I already got a passcode from Reed. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get one of those logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Parvati, is a logic module something you could help with? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Perception. Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of Zero-G to your memory. I'll leave you be. I'm gonna save that mod for some good weapon. We'll take a break for a second. Okay, you know what? Let's kill some marauders.
this game looks just great. Uh, let's just take some shortcut. Still like my saber. A dead resident. What marauders killed him? Or a her? Is it a her? Yeah, that's a her. Oh, that's another one. What the hell? Hunting rifle. Hello, all right, sniper.
Here they come! Nice. We're pretty good at this! Another hunting life. Taking a finger feels like a regulator. I just need a duster. You can see the whole world. Let's just get this to 40.
precision. At least this will make companions more likely to kill someone. Away, back away. Let's see you first. God, they're gonna be scattered all around the place. Wait a minute, am I going right place? This shotgun is awesome. Why does it have a lower damage, red damage? What is that symbol?
I do that with here? A cave? What? This is the part of the best. And Bacconi. I guess we can read it. Like my pistol better. Uh, gun. Light pistol. Transport wreckage.
the hell is coming out from that chimney? Geothermal bottle. your chance and it is electrical field oh okay okay I have to, I have to just light them Dead scientist. <laughs> Space is choice card. Can't take the other one. Come on, give me a good armor. Uh, should I hack it? Oh, I don't have one. A spacious choice property. Power plant security terminal. Disarm security fences. Previous and logs. Accessing error. Security logs inaccessible. In keeping the special choice company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophe event, or security breach. Attention, scheduled security updates at this special choice facility are critically overdue. <laughs> Your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. If you are a member of the special choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. Another death scientist. Corporation Service Award. 
a medium size award typically of the kind given out to an annual company achievement banquet galaxy wide is not a good choice mm. yep that's about right Another dead scientist. They came from here. Scavenge everything before going in. Playing Fallout and Atlas Scrolls teach you that. Alright, let's go. Where are we headed? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Oh. That's a long time ago, but all right. You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business.
I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Let's get back to it. Um, Mr. Thompson said to talk with Miss McDevitt before doing anything here? Oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, for the love of God. Can we go back? Yes. All right, I guess we're not going in then. See, side quests can screw up your main quest apparently. Yep, let's go do that. Along to Mono, Abernathy asks you to bring him a cache of anthrocillin hidden in the Emerald Well community center. Oh. We are gonna bring this to Esther. This game looks great. I don't know how many times I want to say that. Let's explore here first. Marauder attack. And of course we have better armor. There we go. Why not? Dervis missed. Found a pristine weapon apparently. Where is it? Is this the one? Oh no, there you go. I think this is the pristine one. We're gonna sell this.
assault rifle. Yep. All right. That's closed. Oh, you can pick it. Let's save it first. here apparently plasma rifle all right shock plasma rifle what is this red symbol means? <laughs> Scott General <clears throat> After sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple of days I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. However, upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all of these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build their mechanicals with custom tool parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all these mechanicals to run efficiently. I'll tool around with things for a bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together, but I still don't have it down to an exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times and that seems to stop the buzzing. Thing seems like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again. But now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds and the damn thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processor core again and give it a few more good whacks. That will learn it. <laughs> so that's what happened. It was a good loot. Evicted. Someone was evicted apparently. There are Victor House. I think I don't go there first before exploring any further.
damn. Sniper is the best. Another assault rifle. Emerald Vale Community Center. but it's too easy Fitted heavy power armor. All right. Encumbered. You cannot sprint or fast travel while encumbered. Sell, drop, or break down items in your inventory to reduce your carry weight. Your carry weight is displayed in the top left of the ledger. <laughs> Space Choice commends you for putting company's profit ahead of your spinal health. Yeah, that's what I'm doing for Space Choice. Why not? That's a great look. Nah. Whoa, look at that. Alright, let's keep that. Crystals, well, what is the weight? One times three. I'm not bringing that down. I have a sword rifle. Yep. That has a weight of three. Okay, too many light crystals. Let's break them down. some more down I 
this is fresh stain I'm bringing this down all right so there you go all right let's take a break Yeah, huh? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to talk to you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Ah, didn't we just have this conversation? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Like to drink now and again? It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I, I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. You're very sensitive, aren't you? Am I? Well, it's just normal to me. Why isn't everybody else, I wonder? Let's get back to it. Whoa, that takes a lot of resources. Let's see you first. I wish I could do that. Was that even worth it? Nah, I don't think that was worth it. Reload.
damn, took a shock with. There's another one. What the hell? Ugh. is that Community center, let's go in. Mantisaur.
Damn. Entered and there was a shootout directly. Damn, heavy armor makes noises apparently. like a Bethesda dungeon. How do we get in?
dead worker, dead worker, resident. Some marauders put them here to die. Welcome, Director Pickett. From I. Rosenberg. Everyone, the keycard encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully, it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting keycards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a keycard from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. From Ira? Yeah. Hunters and Trikers Limited. To Pickett F, subject please stop. Hello Mr. Pickett, this letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Mantequin. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. For your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. <laughs> My Please, explain. Expect an invoice from our office including the cost of their graveside fees as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damage, corroded, dissolved, eaten or digested, parsley or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Hunters and Trackers Limited. Partner with the Wildlife Eradication Society, a wholly owned subsidiary of Universe Defense Logistic. Hunters and Trackers Limited teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. From Trammel L to Picket F, subject, please stop. Director Pickett, I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manticween is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Lamont Tramel, Financial Officer.
Ah. So first we are gonna collect two fingers and then we are gonna go on to the main quest. Alright, that's it for the part 3. 